This is a walking display cooler that my client have to manually get sizes and number of doors. If we can somehow automate this process, my client will be very happy. So I'm gonna simply create a block using the B shortcut command. Lazy walking cooler. I can select my base point, which will be about here. And first thing I did is I wanted it to add automatically new doors to this walking cooler. So the way I did it was first implementing a linear parameter for my walking cooler like so and rename it to keep things organized. This would be the width and I wanted to have only one grip. So I change it to one uh, and I proceeded to add an action array selecting the parameter, the width and my objects, which were uh, the door and pressed enter for the distance between columns, meaning the distance between doors would be 36 inches. So that's what I, I used and I got this brand new array uh, action. So before I did anything else, I went and test the block to see um, if this was working properly. And I saw that the number of uh, new doors were being added. Uh, that was good. However, the size of my walking box wasn't changing. So the way I solved that was by implementing a new action, the stretch action. So selecting the same parameter for the width and the associated point here, I needed to select my frame for the stretch and it was all the way up here. So for the object, I needed to select um, all of my geometry here, but the door like so and pressed enter. So immediately I did a quick test and what I noticed was that I was getting new doors as well as stretching my walking cooler. But there was a small problem here. The distance for the number of doors comparing to the distance for the cooler weren't matching. So the way I solved this problem was by changing the linear parameter options here for the distance type. So I said increment. And this way I could increment my overall distance uh, every 36 inches. And this way, when I went back to test the block, uh, I noticed that everything was kind of sync and working properly. So that was a good start, but my client also needed a uh, different depth sizes for the walking cooler, as you can see. This depth is larger than this other one. So the way I solved this was using the same procedure adding a linear parameter. So once I did a quick test to see how everything was working, I noticed that it was working correctly. However, the text over here wasn't being centered here on the block. Uh, I also saw that the grip for this stretch wasn't moving accordingly. First, for the grip, I needed to include uh, the grip on this stretch action. The way I did it was by saying modify selection set, pressing enter to accept the same frame, and then uh, making sure add option was selected and selecting my grip and parameter like so for the text removing the text from the stretch action so by going to the modify selection set pressing enter and hit remove so this way when i selected my text and press enter so now the stretch for the width was working as well as for the depth and we were also adding new doors, which was nice. But 
uh, my client also needed a way to input or show the width and the depth dimensions for the walking box. So the way I did this uh, was by implementing a field. So a field is simply a smart piece of text. So the way I did it was get inside my text here and selected this text. I did click and say insert field. So over here, I needed a way to select the objects. So object and select this icon here to select the width the width for this walking cooler i selected this line over here and then uh, the option that i needed was the length and the units was architectural uh, because i'm using imperial in the us so that was five feet and then i clicked okay so once i did that i did the same procedure for the depth So once I did that, I also needed a way to count the number of doors on my walk-in cooler, as you can see here. So I went and selected this text for the number of doors, say insert field. And in this case, what I did was I used a simple formula by using the formula options and here I needed a way to select my width of my walking cooler uh, by clicking and inserting a field. And this way I had the option to select objects. And the object for the width would be this line here. So I selected the line and the type that I needed was the length. So the length and the units would be decimal in this case. So I clicked OK. And in order to get the number of uh, doors, I needed uh, to divide this number. So by the length of my door, which was 36, click OK and hit OK. So the problem with this was first, I wanted to round this number. So to solve that, I went ahead and over here had decimal and i will have a precision over here so if i pick the first one that will round the number and when i clicked okay that says two doors but we only have one door and the reason why this was happening is because in reality the array is using a distance over here of five feet and we know our door was three feet. So the way I solved this was I needed to know the distance of these two sides of my walking cooler. In this case, one foot and also one foot over here that will make two feet. So knowing that I went back to my uh, number of doors field and double click on it. And over here, I went ahead and do a minus 24 because that was in inches two feet and when i did that and clicked okay you can see that now we have the real number of doors and this way um when i went and placed that um walking box over here like so and then i could These block techniques were great, but this is the technique that improved my workflow forever.